we're going to be going into a deep dive on a low cost, high return duplex. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks, the show where I work one-on-one -on -one with people like you, one-on-one -on -one with my man Chris, California-based investor who's chosen to spend his money elsewhere. Why are you doing that, Chris? Because you're looking for two things, a higher cash-on-cash -cash return, you can't find it in Cali, and number two, a low entry price point. And I happen to have access to both of those things for you, as well as a full set of turnkey services, property management, leasing, tenant screening, insurance, landlord insurance, title insurance. I got all the insurance. I got it all for you, brother. But it starts... It starts with a deep analytical dive, which is what we got to do first, which is what we're going to jump into right after this. Hey, Steve. What are you doing? Oh, nothing. And just creating a motivated seller's list using the free software trial I got from Holton Wise TV. Oh, my, Steve. Take me out. Holton Wise. Real estate investing made easy. Wow, I'm so glad I clicked that link below. Welcome back. Let's jump into the property. Let's jump into why I like the property, right? 13320 Curtain Ave, Cleveland 44135. 96.5, been on the market for 27 days. This is probably going to move quickly, okay? They originally had priced it like higher and then they dropped it down. And I think it's got to come down just a little bit more. But this is a solid deal, right? Now, the first thing I like about this is that it's a nice little brick side-by-side -side duplex, right? There is nobody above or nobody below, okay? So both tenants are on one floor, which, folks, that is the best. Technically, it's not side-by-side. -side. I guess it's front-back, but you know what I mean, right? The whole idea is to avoid the up-down. Now, we have a ton of up-down duplexes in the portfolio, right? And that's what the majority of duplexes you're going to find are. But what I love is when you can get a side-by-side, -side, or in this case, I guess, a front-back duplex, you should take that opportunity because you typically see a longer length of stay because the tenants fight a lot less because there's nobody above or below making noise, right? And the longer your tenancy is, the more money you make because turnovers, turnovers are what kill us, right? So I like that. I also like the fact that this is a brick duplex, right? You know, they're doing a lot of the uh, lead uh, inspections and things like that on properties built before 1978 in the Cleveland market, right? So if you can get a brick property, right, you're dealing with a lot less lead-based paint issues, right? This is a new build. Right now, I know a lot of people out there, like especially people uh, from like California in areas like that are like new build. It's built in 1962. That's ancient. Well, in Cleveland, that's not really that ancient. OK, in Cleveland, we got a lot of stuff built in the 20s. Right. So 1962. So it's a little bit newer. Right. So brick side by side slash uh, front back layout, newer build. That's why I like this property. Those are the things about the property I really like as far as the neighborhood goes. Solid C grade neighborhood, dude. We got freaking hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of tenants in this area. It's totally cool. You can go cash. You can go section eight. My opinion, I think section eight is the best way to do it because you guarantee your rental income. That's very important when you're working with moderately low income folk, right? You know, something bad happens, car breaks down, they don't pay the rent, you're fucked, right? You don't want to do that, right? That's what leads to all your costs, right? That's what leads to more repairs, more vacancy, this or that, right? It sucks. Right? We want to keep butts in the houses. And the best way to keep butts in the houses is to provide them the best layout. And then why they're in our houses, we need them to pay. So let's get government guaranteed rent. So for all those reasons, I love the deal. Why is it still on the market? Why was it a little overpriced? Why do I think it still has to come down a little bit? Right? Two reasons. One, both units 
are one once. They're not two once. Okay, so that's going to keep your total rental income a little bit lower than what you usually see. A lot of times on this show, the majority of the inventory we have are up down duplexes that are two one. Right, that's the most common build out here in this market. Right, so we're going to be getting a little bit less in rent. Right, that's one issue. Second issue: current tenants have been there forever. You saw the photos. I was scrolling through them earlier. They're not paying a lot of money. The units are not amazing, right? The current tenants are paying four ninety nine and four and a quarter, right? So that small amount of money, I think, is going to make investors shy away from this, which should help us get the price down a little bit. And the price needs to be down a little bit because our total overall long-term market rent is going to be a little bit lower than it could have been if they were two ones, right? Long term, since both units are one ones, we should be able to get six fifty a unit, right? If these were two beds, we'd be getting an extra two hundred bucks total a month, but. We'll make up for that with the side-by-side -side layout. We'll make up for that with the brick. We'll make up for that for the newer build, right? Plus, we're going to get a lower purchase price, in my opinion, right? So, long-term, 13 hundo comes in, 15.6 for the year. Running your normal fixed and variable expense estimates. I believe this thing should reasonably kick you $7,280 a year on average, right? That's a reasonable expectation of performance. The price... I don't want you to pay 96 and a half. I think we got to pick it up at 90. If we pick it up at 90, you only put down 22 and a half. Bank kicks in 67 and a half. That would long term project out at a little bit over 17, right? A 17.2% cash on cash return. Now the question is, how do we go from 499, four and a quarter up to 650? I think we do it by slowly increasing the rent. So you don't want to just kick those folks out because then you got to redo their units, right? If you're going to rent them to new people on Section 8, you got to probably spend five-ish at least, if not 10, a unit to make it look pretty. Those those tenants have been in there forever. So you don't want them to move out. But you also don't want to have them get the friggin' apartments for free, right? So what I like to do, upon takeover, upon acquisition, sign them both up to a one-year lease, keeping rent the same. The reason you want to keep the rent the same and sign them to a one-year lease is because that is when a landlord is the most vulnerable, right? As soon as you take it over, okay, the tenants, they already are on the edge of their seat. They're like, whoa, what's going on, man? Are we going to get a new landlord? Are they going to suck? Are they a slumlord? Are they going to jack up the rents? I don't know. And they think about moving. Again, we want to avoid turnover. They would be creating an unnecessary turnover. We don't want to do that. We don't make money by creating more turnover, right? So when they're already on the edge of their seats, convince them to stay for a year. You do so by giving them the carrot of no increased rents. Hey, Mr. Tenant, let's lock you in for another year, okay? No rental increase, right? Then after that, you go up slowly, right? It's super important that you lock them in on that lease, though, right? You need them to sign that lease, and you want them to do it voluntarily, right? And that's why you give them the care to keeping the rent low. The reason it's so important for you to get them on the new lease as opposed to just staying month to month is if they choose not to pay you rent that first month you take it over, you've never had them pay you rent before, you don't have a signed lease with them, in court, I've seen this happen many, many times, they bring up the defense to the judge. They didn't understand who they were supposed to pay. Does that mean they get to win? No, they don't win. But what they always do is get to delay it, and we have to come back for a second, possibly a third time. Eventually, we win all those cases. But you know what? Every single time, the Holton Wise team and the legal team, right, the attorneys, every time we go to court, we're sending you a big, fat bill, right? So we want to have that lease. In the event we have the lease, and then they don't pay the rent, we present the lease, boom, case closed, eviction, one court appearance, right? You don't want to drag it out to two or three court appearances, right? Because what they usually do, I see the judges do this all the time. They'll be like, oh, you, you didn't know. Okay, let's continue it till you can get the old landlord because you're saying you paid him. And then it, we always win, but it costs you more money. You don't want to do that, right? So you don't want to create artificial turnover. You don't want to create additional legal fees. But you do got to get the rent up, and that is the most efficient, profitable way to do it, right? And because of those negatives, right, having to do that stuff, dealing with the smaller bedroom count, that's why I believe we'll be able to pick up this beautiful side-by-side -side or back front, right, newer build brick duplex for only 90 k I think if we picked it up at 90 k that is an exceptional deal for you. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.